Good morning, students. How are you all? Very good. So in today's class, we are going to begin your semester two book. The first lesson is Johnny Apple Seed. Okay. The topic of the lesson is Johnny Apple Seed. Okay. Do you like uh, fruits, children? What are the those fruits that you like to eat? So you will like eat apple, uh, grapes, pomegranate, orange, mango. So you need uh, many fruits. So what you will uh, do? The seeds of the fruits after eating it, we will throw the seeds under the peel of the fruit. So what happens? The seeds uh, starts to grow as a plant. Am I right? In today's class, we are going to uh, study about. Jonathan Champ uh, Champman. He is a person. John uh, Jonathan Champman. And what he is uh, doing uh, using the seed of the apple. Okay, what he is doing uh, with the seed of the apple. Let us see this lesson. Jonathan Champman was born on twenty six September. His uh, father got. remarried and they have 10 children he is the oldest of all chapman loved the great outdoors and soon he was old enough he left home to travel west he moved to pennsylvania from there he traveled into ohio valley country and later to indiana he always carried a leather bag filled with apple seeds that he collected for free from cider mills when he would run out of seeds he would go to a cider press he rarely sought shelter in a house since he preferred to sleep on a bare ground with his feet to a small fire people look forward to his visit he likes children and he tell them many stories as he grew older it became hard for him to keep up his work but still he traveled and planted Jonathan Chapman now let us see about him so his nickname is Johnny Apple Seed okay his nickname is Johnny Apple Seed he was born on 26 uh, September 1774 he was born on 26 September 1774 mother and little brother died so his mother Johnny Apple Seed's mother and little brother Died. Father got remarried. So after the death of his mother, what is the, what is the, his father did? His father got remarried to another woman. His family makes sauce, ciders, butter, vinegar from the apple. So for the use of the apple, his family will do sauce, ciders, butter, vinegar. Now let us see the hard words. Toddler, the child who is beginning to walk. The meaning of toddler is a child who is beginning to walk. Ciders, alcoholic drink made from apple juice. The meaning of cider is alcoholic drink made from apple juice. Outdoor, area outside the shelter. Outdoor means. Area outside the shelter. Slender means thin. Okay, slender thin. Nursery is the place where the young plants and trees are grow. Nursery is the place where the young plants and trees are grow. Accumulator, gather. Accumulator, gather. Okay. Now let us move on to the lesson. Page number eleven. Jonathan Chapman was born on. 26 September 1774 in Leominster, Massachusetts, USA. He was a young child. His father wanted to 
fight in a war. His mother and his little brother died when he was just a toddler. His father later remarried and Chapman became the oldest of over 10 children. Even at a young age, Chapman and his family used to make sauce, ciders, butter and vinegar from the apples they picked. Okay, we have already seen that um, Jonathan Chapman was born on 26 September 1774. Okay, so he was born in the place of Leo Munster, Massachusetts, USA. So he was born in the USA. This meant by USA. What is the full form of USA? United States of America. When he was a young child, his father went to fight in a war. So his father went to the war when he was very small. His mother and his little brother died when he was just a toddler. So when he was a toddler, so we have already seen the meaning of toddler is a child who is beginning to war. Child who is beginning to war. So at the stage of toddler, his mother and his little brother died. His father later remarried and Chapman became the oldest of over 10 children. So after the death of his mother, his father is getting remarried to a, another uh, lady. And uh, they have 10 children. Okay, they have 10 children and uh, Chapman is the oldest of the all. Even at a young age, Chapman and his family used to make sauce, ciders, butter and vinegar from the apples they picked. So what do the family did? The family is making sauce, ciders. So we have seen the meaning of cider is it is an alcoholic drink that is made from the apple juice. Okay. So the family is making sauce, ciders, butter, vinegar from the apples. Chapman loved the great outdoors and as soon as he was old enough, he left home to travel west. He moved to Pennsylvania. From there, he traveled into, into the Ohio Valley country and later to India. Chapman loved the great outdoors. The meaning of outdoors is area outside the shelter. The area outside the shelter. It is not, a, it is not of a inside, being inside the home. It is of going outside the home. So he is allowing to go outdoors. And as soon as he was old enough, he left the home to travel the west. So after many years, he left his uh, home uh, and he went to the west side. He moved to Pennsylvania. From that, he travelled into the Ohio Valley. So that he went, he went to the Pen uh, Pennsylvania. Okay, and uh, from that, he went to the Ohio Valley, and it was located uh, in the India. He is described as a man of medium height, blue eyes, light brown hair, slender and alert. Folklore also described him as funny looking because of the way he dressed. He was known to give his better clothing to people. He felt needed it more than him. This could be why legend says he wore one day coffee sacks with the holes cut out for his arms and hair. So, um, in this paragraph, uh, he, he has been described. He is described as a man of medium height. So, how uh, his height is? His uh, height is, is not of very tall or very short. He is in a medium height. Next, his eyes are blue in color. His eyes are blue in color. And his hair is light browny. His hair is light browny. And slender and alert. Slender means thin. Okay? He is uh, looking very thin and alert. Folklore also described him as funny looking because of the way his uh, dressed. Uh, so folklore means it's nothing but uh, it is a prescribing a person. Okay, so uh, he has been described as a funny looking person. He was known to give his better clothing to people. He felt needed it more than him. So he is having an habit of offering his dress to the needy people. Okay, the person who needs a uh, post, he will offer it to them. This could be why legend says he 
He wore only coffee skirts with holes cut out for his arms and hair. So what are the dress he wore? He wore coffee sacks. So coffee sacks is a kind of a cloth. Okay, it has been cut in the arms and the head to insert. He is best known for walking across the country planting apple trees. He travelled along and lived in a great outdoors. Some says he was even friends with animals. He rarely wore shoes even during the cold winter. It is said he could walk over the ice and snow barefooted and that the skin was so thick on his feet that even a rattlesnake couldn't bite to it. He rarely sought shelter in a house since he preferred to sleep on bare ground in the open forest with his feet to a small fire. So in this paragraph, he is best known for walking across the country. So is the, uh, he is uh, one of the person who walks um, in the all over country. Okay? Planting apple trees. So what he will do? He will plant many apple trees. He travel alone and lived in the great outdoors. So he is not a happy companion. Okay? He is a single person to travel uh, in the outdoors. Some says he was even friends with animals and uh, some people are saying that uh, he will uh, keep animals as, a, as his friend. He rarely wore shoes even during the cold winter. So in cold winter what we will do? We will wear shoes because uh, we can't able to bear the coldness. But uh, Chapman rarely wore shoes. Rarely means sometimes. Okay? He sometimes wore shoes during the cold winter. It is said he would walk over the ice and snow barefooted and that the skin was so thick on his feet. So uh, the author says that the chapman can be able to walk on the ice and the snow without the slippers. Okay? So thick on his feet. So on walking on the snow, his uh, feet uh, becomes very thick. Okay? His feet becomes very thick that even the rattlesnake wouldn't bite to it. So rattlesnake means it is a poisonous snake. Uh, snake. Uh, because of the uh, thick uh, feet, the rattlesnake could not able to bite his leg. He rarely sought shelter in a house since he preferred to sleep on a bare ground. So he likes to sleep on a bare ground. Bare ground means grassless, uh, grassless ground. There won't be grass. In the open forest, his feet were a small fire. He always carried a leather bag filled with apple seeds that he collected for free from cider mills. When he would run out of seeds, he would go to a cider press to get more seeds. So what uh, he carries, he always carries a leather bag. He is having a leather bag uh, to collect the apple seeds from the cider mills. So uh, cider, uh, the ciders we have already seen alcohol will be made from apple juice. So cider mill, in the cider mill there will be many apple seeds. So he will go there to collect all the apple seeds. Legend says he was constantly planting apple trees in open places in the forest, along the roadways and by the streets. So what the legend says? The legend says constantly, uh, constantly means continuously. So they are uh, saying that uh, Chapman is planting apple trees continuously on the places of forest. So uh, the, in the forest place, uh, uh, then along the roadside and in the street. So he started planting many apple trees in those places. However, research suggests that created numerous uh, nurseries by carefully selecting planting spot, fencing it with fallen trees and non bushes and vines. So the researchers uh, has uh, said that he has created numerous, numerous means numbers, okay? He has created numbers of nurseries. Nurseries means the place where the young plants found the trees or grow. Okay, so they have found many nurseries that has been created by Chapman. Facing each uh, were fallen trees and blocks, bushes and 
Right. So uh, he will um, he will uh, put big fence around the ground. He was soon known as uh, known as the apple seed man, and later he became known one year Johnny apple seed. So the people started to call him as a Johnny apple seed because of uh, planting many apple trees. Over the years, people look forward to his visit, and doors of all cabins were open to visit him. So the people are very excited to see the Johnny Apple Seed. The men and women, he was the news carrier to the children. He was a friend. So for the men and women, he was a news carrier. The news carrier means a person who wants to take a message from one place to the another place. To the children, he was a friend. So for the uh, small children, he was very friendly to them. He was known for his kindness and generosity. So, uh, how Johnny Appleseed was? He was very kind. He was a kind man and he was generous. The generosity means the person one who offered his own things to friends, strangers, and creators alike. So, he would be kindness and generosity to friends, strangers. Strangers means unknown people and even to the creatures. He was a great storyteller. And will often ignite uh, children with tales of his various adventures and stories from the Bible. So, Johnny Appleseed will also tell stories to the children with the tales of his wilderness adventures. Wild, uh, wilderness adventures means his forest adventures. So, he won't uh, say in a single place. He will uh, wander from one place to another. So, he will uh, say his forest stories to the children and stories from the Bible. He made many friends with many Indian tribes and was known to have learned many Indian languages well enough to converse. So he is uh, also uh, having friendship with the Indian tribes. Tribes means the person one who lives in the forest. So from them uh, he uh, taught many languages from them. The languages they speak. He lived on food provided by nature and never could. Under. So he won't eat any artificial foods. He, uh, he takes only the uh, fruits, uh, vegetables uh, that is uh, given by nature, and he he didn't uh, eat any kind of animals. Though he appeared to be poor, he was not a poor man. So uh, his appearance may be very poor, but he's not a poor. He's rich by his heart. He accumulated more cash than needed by selling his apple trees and tracks of man. Accumulated means gathered. Okay? We have accumulated gathered. So he gathered many, tree, uh, many uh, money by selling his apple trees and the tracks of man. Tracks of man means property. Okay? As he grew older, it became hard for him to keep up his work, but still he traveled and planted. So after many years, he became very old. He can't able to plant many trees and he can't able to travel from one place to the another place. One winter, when he was 17 years old, Johnny got sick uh, during a snowstorm in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So when he was uh, 17 years old, he was affected by the snowstorm. Uh, in the base of Fort Banya, Indiana. He found shelter in Settler's cabin and died a few days later. So he stayed in the Settler's cabin and after those uh, few days, he was dead. Though Johnny Appleseed died, died, his legacy still lives on through Apple Orphans across America. So even though he died, uh, his uh, story has been spoken by everyone in America. Okay, students, and this uh, was the story of Jonathan Chapman. Okay, shall we read the hard words once again? Toddler, the child who is beginning to walk. Toddler, the child who is beginning to walk. Cyrus, alcoholic drink made from apple juice. Cyrus, alcoholic drink made from apple juice. Outdoor, area outside the shelter. Outdoor, area outside the shelter. Slender, thing. Slender, thing. 
nurseries, the place where the young plants and trees are grown. Nurseries, the place where the young plants and trees are grown. Accumulator, gather. Accumulator, gather. And this is for your home assignment. Write the keywords, synonyms, antonyms, past tense in your classwork note. Write the keywords, synonyms, antonyms, past tense in your classwork note. See you in the next class, students. Thank you.